This is the third and final elimination for the two-year-old trotting fillies. Once again, the top three earn a spot for half a million dollars a week from tomorrow, along with the fourth place finisher with the highest earnings among the three divisions. They're at the post for the fifth, heading toward the start. And they're off. Lady Lynn was the only one close to the gate, and she heads out for the lead forever. Starlet comes away smoothly in between horses for Dave Miller. Mystical Sunshine from the inside third as Forever Starlet takes command. Peaceful Way will settle nicely in the early stages from fourth. Shannon Hall is racing in fifth, and Armbro Blue Jay sixth on the inside. A gap of about two and a half lengths to two the wire. And at the back of the pack, trailing the field as they trot the turn is Malabar Melody. It's Forever Starlet who leads it. Lady Lynn left, but is parked out on the outside side opening quarter and 27 and four and going off stride peaceful way peaceful way the favorite made a break just past the opening quarter and she's still on the gallop as they head down the back stretch as lady land is clears the lead and forever starlet is right back out and rolling for the retake in second forever starlet back to the point racing in third is mystical sunshine on the move shannon hall coming first over armbro blue jay will follow her cover and to the wire gaps the cover flow slightly from two lengths further back six as they hit the half and 58 and one racing in seventh is Malabar Melody and Peaceful Way far behind after that costly break trails the field and Forever Starlet is moving smoothly on the lead right now with three eights to go. Shannon Hall applying some pressure on the outside is now half a length back in second. Lady Lynn finds herself locked in third. Armbro Blue Jay well spotted carried into a striking spot second over to the wire has a good late kick. She's third over on the outside as Forever Starlet hits three quarters and 127 and 1. Shannon Hall trying to stay with her on the outside second as Forever Starlet kicks for home with a length advantage. Lady Lynn is trapped in behind her. Armbro Blue Jay is coming off cover and to the wire on the outside. Armbro Blue Jay takes aim at Forever Starlet. Lady Lynn looking to squeeze up the cones. Forever Starlet is digging in. Armbro Blue Jay on the outside. Lady Lynn up the rail. Armbro Blue Jay getting up at the line. Forever Starlet held on to win. Armbro Blue Jay just missed second and finishing third was Lady Lind at 156 and 3. At 905. We're down here we're in fifth race, the Breeders' Crown Elimination, and Dave Miller has rejoined us here. Dave, you left the gate very well with Forever Starlet. How did she feel before the race? And tell us take us through the early part of the race. Well, she's been, uh, she's just been great. I mean, uh, as far as her gait and, and uh, her manners and her stamina, I mean, uh, she felt very good scoring down. Okay, now when Peaceful Way made a break on the back stretch, that changed your strategy at any point? Yeah, yeah, it sure did. I, uh, I, I wanted to be on the lead or uh, in the two hole there behind the other mare, and uh, I had to use her pretty hard to get there, and uh, then she got raced around the last turn. I mean, she, uh, she showed a lot of heart there tonight. Looks like uh, top of the stretch, you might be backing into the field just a little bit, but she just kept fighting back. Yeah, I thought she uh, she showed a lot of gameness there. She uh, she fought very hard right to the wire. She she definitely earned that one. Last year you drove Pizza Dolce at two, the champion. This year Forever Starlet right there with Peaceful Way. Any comparisons? Uh, yeah, they they were both uh, just uh, this one here is a little easier to manage, but uh, both very nice horses. Okay, Dave Miller, two in a row. Good luck in the Breeders' Crown Final next week.